Welcome into our Car Buzz review of the 2024 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 Bison. This is, if you aren't aware already, the most off-road capable version of the Chevy Colorado that money can buy. And honestly, I think this might be GM's most capable truck. They do sell a Bison of the Silverado 1500 and Silverado 2500, but in this video, I'm gonna show you why the Colorado, the midsize truck, might actually be my favorite one. Now, I really do enjoy the new design of the current Colorado. I thought it looked really cool when it debuted. I also like the GMC version, the Canyon, which does have a very similar version to this. It's called the AT4X AEV Edition. Not not as cool of a name as Bison in my personal opinion. So that might sway you either way, but I think between that truck and this truck is really just an appearance difference, but they have all the same mechanical bits. Let's talk about it. We've got the ZRT, ZR2 logo here, which you get on a regular ZR2. You also get the Chevy flow tie is what they call it instead of the bow tie, because as you can see, I can stick my hand through it. That gives the engine a little bit of additional cooling. Now the Bison, package is actually done in conjunction with American Expedition Vehicles. They are a, like a third-party outfitter that does off-road trucks, so they work in collaboration with Chevy and GMC to build this truck. So you're going to see AEV stamped steel bumpers here, not the same ones that you get on a standard Colorado here. You can see the AEV logo in there. We've got some red tow hitch da hitches down here, and we've got some boron steel skid blades and underbody protections for things like the gas tank and transmission as well. So really good underbody protection on this truck, and it just looks so tough. I mean, look at this thing. It looks so mean. We are riding on 35 inch uh, Wrangler mud terrain off-road tires. These are the biggest tires that you can currently get in this segment. Um, I don't believe the Gladiator actually offers 35 inch tires now. I know that the Ford Ranger Raptor and the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, which are this truck's main competitors, only offer 33 inch wheels. We've got 17 inch uh, beadlock capable rims. Those are black. We'll try to get you some B-roll of that because as you can see, they look very brown right now because I have already taken this truck through some some puddles to fit these massive wheels they've had to done a lot uh, do a lot with the suspension we also have wider fender flares here that just again add to that insane look and then nitro yellow we got to talk about nitro yellow it's a bold choice but it's one that pays off if you really want to stand out with your off-road truck this thing looks absolutely crazy in nitro yellow we've also got some uh rails right here that are going to protect uh for your breakover angles uh these will protect the underside of the truck here you can get a sneak peek at the Multimatic DSSV dampers here at the back. They are also at the front as well. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about those later in the video. You do have special emblems back here letting you know that you do not have just a normal ZR2. You have a ZR2 Bison. You have your Colorado badge here. And again, you have an AEV logo right here letting you know who helped build this truck. This bumper as well, as you can see from the side here, is an American Expedition Vehicles uh, bumper as well. We've got lots of good departure angles as well. Now there's only uh, one bed size here. It's kind of just your normal bed. We do have the little bit of storage in here. I can go ahead and open this up for you. It's not really lockable, but it does uh, open up here. Ugh, there we go. We've got a little bit of storage in there. So if you want to put some tools or whatnot in there, and then you can go ahead and close that off. The bed is slightly taken up by a full-size spare tire. You do have a 35 inch tire here in the bed, but they decided to stand it up here against the back window rather than lay it flat as they did in the previous Bison. Chevy tells me this is to preserve bed space. You would lose pretty much all of it if they put the spare tire smack dab in the middle. But as we'll see later in the video, it does uh, block your rear visibility quite a bit. Now you might expect a tough off-road truck like this to be pretty plain and simple on the inside, but you're actually going to be surprised because the ZR2 Bison comes pretty much fully loaded with what's available in a Colorado. We've got leather seats in this kind of 
I don't know how to describe it, this brownish beige kind of color. We've got perforations in here because these are heated and ventilated seats. You can see we have yellow stitching that match the nitro yellow here on the outside. These are bright yellow seat belts here. That's a ZR2 thing, not necessarily just a Bison thing. But here, because we have the Bison, we've got our AEV logo with our friendly Bison here on the headrest. Just a little something to differentiate you from a normal uh, Colorado ZR2. We also have some AEV rubber floor mats down here. Those get a lot of use in a truck like this. We're going to go ahead and start it up. Now the technology in here is pretty darn good if I'm being honest. We've got all of the latest kind of stuff that you get from GM. That includes this 11.3 inch touchscreen that comes standard on the ZR2. It's a really nice size. It's got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. We also have some absolutely outstanding cameras that I will make use of uh, as we get it out on the road. You get so many different angles here. You can see a close-up of your wheels. You can see the 360 vision. You can you can actually leave this running while you're driving as well, which is kind of useful because that spare tire out in the bed, I'll just go ahead and turn around to show you, takes up quite a bit of your vision. You can see that blocks about half of my rear view, which is absolutely crazy. We also have um, a Bose audio system in here that is standard as well, which is quite nice. We also have a digital gauge cluster that comes paired with uh, the large infotainment screen. This is actually super easily customizable. We just have this one button right here to cycle through stuff. So that's gonna be kind of my main gauges. If I want kind of a more plain screen, that's just my speedometer. I don't know why you'd want that. Here's one with my trip information and my radio information on one side. Here's kind of back to that gauge. Here's a full color map of where I am. And yes, this will, so this is the Google map. I, I forgot to mention that this is actually powered by Google. So you can ask it questions. It's actually really great for that. But this can also be your Apple map when you're running uh, Apple CarPlay, which is a really nice feature as well. And then you can have some off-road screens. Like this one has a little G meter over there, or you can have this one that's gonna have your steering angle, your transfer case position and stuff like that. So I love, um, not necessarily, the style of it. I think this is going to age maybe a little poorly, but I do love how easy it is that it's just one button to cycle through everything on this. And the rest of the cabin, this is definitely a more premium Colorado, but the Colorado is not necessarily a full of nice materials. We do have some leather here on the dash, the ZR2 logo. We've got a little bit of camo in here, some camo on this wireless charger as well. We've got the little Chevy bow tie on our eight speed automatic shifter. We do have plenty of buttons for the climate control, which is kind of nice. We've got our locking front and rear diffs. I'm sure we'll use those a little bit later as well. And we've got some cup holders here and a regular sunroof as well. And that pretty much sums up the interior of this truck. All right, now let's get out on the road in the 2024 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison. And when I say road, I do mean off-road. Because why would I just get a truck like this and just drive it on the local streets? Like, that is absolutely not what it's built for. So I am out in the Ocala National Forest here in Central Florida. This is my premier off-roading destination that I like to take big trucks like this too. So we can really push the bison to its limits. And first we've got to talk about what's under the hood of the bison where unfortunately the news is not spectacular. Now, unfortunately, you're gonna have to bear with me for some of the weird camera angles during this video. I'm working with a very cheap, very temporary phone mount that I got from Five Below and it's gonna be a little bouncy, but I assure you, this is not really being uh, transmitted to me, the driver, but we're, we'll try to put in as much B-roll footage as we can to try and make the experience better for you, the viewer. So the reason I say the situation under the hood might be a little disappointing is that the Bison gets the same 2.7 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that you're gonna get in other uh, upper trim Colorado trims, and it produces the same power. They haven't upped power just for the Bison model, which, really doesn't matter when you're off-roading like this, like I don't need five, six, 700 horsepower like the Raptor R and the Ram T-Rex have. Like, unless I'm trying to go really, really fast off-road, 
Typically, that's not what you're doing. So I think the power output in here is fine. It's 310 horsepower and it's 430 pound feet of torque. Now, the horsepower number is down significantly. The Raptor, Ranger Raptor has 400 horsepower, which sounds great on paper. Again, I'd like to test a Ranger Raptor to see how much of that is actually usable. But the torque is the more important number, I think, with a pickup truck like this. And the Bison actually matches the Raptor in that number. All of that goes out, obviously, to an four-wheel drive system standard on the Bison through an eight-speed automatic transmission. Now, I know Ford has 10 gears, but I'm loving this eight-speed transmission that is in the Colorado here. It is really smooth. Uh, it, it shifts aggressively when you're off-road. Uh, I have the truck in its Baja setting, which is sort of for high-speed off-road, which is more so what I do here in Florida. And the throttle mapping is great. The transmission is great. It knows when you want to drive spiritedly. It'll do what are called performance shifts. It's really great. When you put it in Baja mode, you actually get launch control, which is kind of cool. I did not know that at first uh, when I got into this truck, but foot on the brake, foot on the gas and it knows what terrain you're on. Woo! Woo! There's those performance shifts. Oh, oh, oh. Sounds meaty too. It's, it's pretty growly for a four cylinder, if I'm being honest. Uh, I didn't love it out on the road, you know, where you, you just kind of want your truck to be civilized. It's a little groany in that regard, you know, 35 inch tires, it's trying to move around. But out here, when I'm trying to have fun, it's not a bad soundtrack. But enough about the engine, we've got to talk about the Bison package. So this is really where your money is going. Uh, from American Expedition Vehicles, they, you know, they know their trucks and they outfit this Colorado so well with amazing suspension. We've got the same Multimatic dynamic spool valve dampers that you get in other ZR2 models like the Silverado uh, 1500 and 2500. They have just so much flexibility. They have so much wheel travel. And then those are also paired with Multimatic front and rear jounce control dampers is what GM calls them. It's really a bump stop. So if you do find yourself airborne, and you wanna come down softly, that's what those jounce control dampers are going to do. We've got front and rear lockers. You need those on, you know, when you're doing crazy heavy off-roading. We've got a spare tire in the bed. I know, bed. see it, it's blocking half of my rear view, which would be a problem if not for that amazing camera system. It works so well when you're off-roading, but believe it or not, you can actually leave it running on the road when you're just driving on the highway. So you can put it into the rear view camera mode and then it's a little bit distracting to have to like look down at the screen to see what's behind you. But if you're that worried about not being able to see because of the spare tire, the cameras are there for that purpose. And as we talked about on the exterior, we are riding on 35 inch tires. In fact, the Bison sits even higher up. I think it's about 1.1 inches higher than the standard ZR2, which is already a really tall truck, meaning that we have such great off-road angles on this. We've got 12.2 inches of ground clearance, which I think beats pretty much everything in the segment, including the Ranger Raptor and the Tacoma TRD Pro. I think the only thing that probably has it beat is the Jeep Gladiator, you know, because it has just such crazy proportions. Same with the approach angle, 38.2 inches of approach. That's better than the Ranger Raptor. It's actually, I think, a little less than the regular ZR2 because of that AEV bumper that we have in the front. But trust me, it's still plenty of ground clearance and pr plenty of approach angle. The departure angle is increased to 26 inches and the breakover angle is pretty good too at 26.9, almost 27 degrees of breakover. And I was gonna say that I didn't love the suspension on this truck when I first hopped in and I was driving it on the road, but out here where, you know, you get the really bumpy stuff. Now that I have my camera situation figured out, I was able to kind of lean it on the dashboard in a position that I don't usually have it. So now you can see, you'll see later in the video, I'm gonna take it over some much more bumpy sand than this. The camera is gonna go crazy, but if I had it in this position later, I, cause I filmed out of order, it really wouldn't be bad at all. Ooh, I can slide it a little bit here. Ooh, oh God, this, it feels so spry. 
it, it's kind of weird that it has bison in the name because like bisons aren't really particularly agile. But the bison feels like a jackrabbit out here. It just it loves to move. If you see a sudden rock or something like that, it changes directions just so well and so easily. It doesn't feel like this big lumbering truck. This is the right size for the truck. The Colorado is such a nice size. Then you have it so lifted. This is actually, besides the 2500 ZR2 Bison, this is the only truck that gets 35s in this segment. The Tacoma and the Ranger are both on 33s. So... This is something really interesting to look at if you're considering an off-road mid-sized truck. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this look at the 2024 Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 Bison. All that is left to do is talk about pricing. So a standard ZR2 Colorado is gonna start at just over $48,000, but this Bison package is pricey at $11,700. So that's gonna bring the price just over 60 grand. We have a few options on this truck that bring it up to about $65,000. Now, that is kind of right in line line with the Ford Ranger Raptor. As of this filming, I don't know how much the Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro is going to cost, but I expect it to be maybe a little less than that, but around the same ballpark. This is such a capable off-road truck, and I think that if you're one of those people that's going to read the horsepower and torque numbers and think it's a little bit low, you're kind of missing the point on this. Yes, I know the Ranger Raptor has more horsepower, but this has bigger tires. This has very different suspension setup than what you're going to get on the Ranger. This thing is going to be an absolute monster in the mud, a monster going up a mountain, and honestly, out here in the Ocala National Forest, it's proved to be an absolute beast like its name would imply. But let me know in the comments, would you buy a ZR2 Bison or do the Ranger Raptor and Tacoma TRD Pro speak to you a little bit more? As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to be alerted of our latest videos. I'll see you next time.